George Bingham was just seven when his father vanished. His body has never been found. Lord Lucan has been missing for more than 40 years, and today the High Court ruled that his son may now inherit his title. How do you feel today? Um, relieved, frankly. It was a very sensible verdict. It's been 41 years. We've all seen the most extraordinary claims and tales over these 41 years. To some extent, it's been a bit of a jaunt, um, but at other times it's been very difficult. Lord Lucan disappeared in November 1974 after his children's nanny, Sandra Rivett, was found murdered at the family home in London. His bloodstained car was later found abandoned in East Sussex. A year later, an inquest jury decided Lord Lucan had killed Ms Rivett after mistaking her for his estranged wife, Lady Lucan. The couple were involved in a custody battle for their three children. In 1999, he was officially declared dead by the High Court so that his will could be activated. And in 2014, the Presumption of Death Act finally enabled his son to apply for a death certificate so that he could inherit his title. Sandra Rivett's son, Neil, was also at court today. He too was just seven when his mother was murdered. There is no getting away from the fact that whatever happened that night, Lucan is guilty of something in my eyes. So please remember the forgotten victims here, truth will prevail. Inside court, the judge said that having read all the evidence, she was satisfied that Lord Lucan had not been known to be alive for at least seven years. And that meant the death certificate could be granted. There have been numerous possible sightings of Lord Lucan over the years and many theories about what happened to him. His son believes he is now dead. Regardless of guilt or otherwise of being dragged through the courts and through the media would have destroyed his personal life, his career and the chances of getting custody of his children back and that may well have pushed a man to uh, end his own life. George Bingham will now be known as Lord Lucan. He has the title but the mystery of what happened to his father is no closer to being solved. Leila Hayes, 5 News.